We have an all-star panel joining us from across the country. Gavin Hayes, USGS research seismologist at the Geological Hazard Science Center from Denver, Colorado. Joel Achenbach, science reporter from the Washington Post. And Dr. Michio Kaku, CBS News science and futurist contributor. Dr. Kaku, let's kick it off with you. The scale that we saw in that Oklahoma quake was pretty remarkable. Do you expect more to come? Yes, in fact, Oklahoma could, could go down as the earthquake capital of America. Realize it was a 5.8 earthquake just a few days ago, the largest in the history of Oklahoma. And the number of earthquakes has skyrocketed by a factor of 500 mm. just in the last few years, from two small earthquakes a year to 907 small earthquakes that year. So when you tamper with Mother Nature, Sometimes Mother Nature bites back. Mm, in a big way in this case. Joel, I want to ask you, Oklahoma doesn't really get hit by natural earthquakes the same way that California does. They get hit up with earthquakes that are pretty high on the Richter scale. Do you think that Oklahoma could see quakes of that magnitude? Well, let me just make a key point. Earthquakes are not predictable. In this case, we know that human intervention is messing with Mother, mother Nature. I mean, the, those injection wells are almost certainly the cause of, of this swarm of earthquakes. So why are they so um, dangerous, it's, it's, those wastewater well, disposals the, you're talking about? Well, let me make the key point, though. The key fact about earthquakes is they are not predictable. They don't take place um, right where you think they're going to happen necessarily, or w you can't tell when they're going to happen. And this is one of the weird things about uh, seismology, you know, for years people have tried to come up with a way of predicting them, finding precursors so you would know when the big one would hit. Well, guess what? It doesn't work that way. It's a chaotic system. What's certain is if you keep injecting, uh, you know, uh, the wastewater down these wells, you're messing with a chaotic natural system and stuff is going to happen you're not going to like. Gavin, can you also explain to us why is this happening now and why is it because of man-made situation we're looking at? Sure. Uh, over the past decade, we've seen a, a huge increase in the number of wastewater injection wells, in the rates at which those wells are injecting fluids, um, and in the volume of, of fluids that they're injecting. At the same time, we've seen a huge increase in, in the number of earthquakes that have been occurring. So there's, there's credible and published science that shows there's a direct correlation between those factors and, and the earthquakes that are occurring. I don't know of any credible uh, published science that, that proposes another hypothesis. But we know that some in the oil industry are claiming that this is not new. Let's take a listen to Kim Hatfield of the Oklahoma Independent Petroleum Association, who actually sits on the governor's council about what he says about the system of wastewater disposal. You have to understand, the injection into the Arbuckle is not something that started in 2009, 2008, or even 2000. This is something that's been going on for uh, 60, 70 years. The injection of water is a factor, but it is not possibly the only factor. We don't know. We need to understand this issue. It's not as simple as saying, uh, well, let's just stop injecting water. Uh, the energy industry is, is, uh, is very important to the state. Gavin, does Kim have a point here? I would say um, that what he says is, is not completely untrue, um, but as I said, the <laughs> number of wells, the rates at which they inject, and the volumes have significantly increased, and the earthquakes that have happened over the past decade track those significant increases. I, I would also say that public safety is, is a very important factor as well, and so these issues need to be balanced. Joel, what's your take? Yeah, I mean, not completely untrue is probably a good way of putting it. I mean, what else would explain this rash of earthquakes? I mean, Oklahoma didn't suddenly become a California-like seismic zone without the intervention of, of human technology. I mean, it, it's, I mean, the rate at which they're having earthquakes is California-like now. We know in California why that happens, because of plate tectonics. It's the North American plate sliding against the Pacific plate throwing up all those amazing mountains in California, the incredible topography. Um, well, Oklahoma, that's not what's happening there. Uh, that's all in the middle of the North American plate. Clearly, there's an association between the injection wells and the amount of, of wastewater going down there and these earthquakes. And by the way, it's not just Oklahoma. It's happening in Kansas, and it can happen in Texas. Um, our 
reporting actually based on what the, I guess the USGS put out uh, earlier this year, says that in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, you now have a seismic risk that you would not have had without these injection wells. Dr. Kaku, is the increase of quakes out west something that's reversible, or is it just something we've got to deal with now? Well, you know, there is a glimmer of hope here, cause and effect. When you reduce the number of oil wells being drilled and activity with the oil wells by 25% this past year, the number of small earthquakes also went down. So we see a cause and effect. When you increase the amount of drilling activity, the activity of the earthquakes went up by a factor of 500. And then just this past year, you reduce the oil activity, the drilling activity by 25%, and the number of earthquakes go down. Now, the industry is right. We don't know that much about the nature of these fractures and these fault lines. So in some sense, it is a science experiment. We're sort of like making it up as we go along. My attitude is, why gamble with the safety of the people of Oklahoma yeah. when we are wandering in the dark, not really knowing the nature of all the fault lines? It's a science experiment. We're making it up as we go along. Gavin, I want to ask you, we think of the West as being hit by these earthquakes. Do you think that people out in other parts of the U.S. have reason to be concerned? That just depends on where the activity occurs. I mean, there are thousands, tens of thousands injection wells across the country that don't produce uh, earthquakes uh, like we're seeing in Oklahoma. So, so it's a number of factors that, that are influencing why these earthquakes are occurring where they are. And it's complicated factors. And USGS and other agencies are trying to produce the science that allows us to understand why uh, these earthquakes are specific to uh, this region of injection wells in Oklahoma and, and what might be able to uh, be done about it so that the regulatory agencies can, can then take that science and, and act upon it. Gavin Hayes, Joel Achenbach, and Dr. Michio Kaku, thank you all for joining us. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you.